Hello and welcome to Storytime at your library. I'm Mary from Marina Library and the story today is The President's Surprise by Peter Donnelly and published by Gill Books. Let's get started. Today was a very special day. It was the President's birthday and there was going to be a very big party. Now, Honeybun, you go for a nice long walk while we get everything ready. And don't forget to be back by five. The president decided to walk his dogs in the Phoenix Park. Yikes! As he gets pulled along by the dogs. All around Orison Uchtaron, the work began. The president's pigeon flew high up to the rooftop where he hung lots of green, white and orange bunting. Yippee! Inside, the president's wife planned where everybody would sit. Hmm, we have two guests called Mary, she thought. I place one either side of the president. I'm sure they'll have lots of interesting things to talk about. So we have president in the middle and we have Mary Orr on this side and Mary Mac on this side. Outside, the butler was busy polishing the front door. Nice and shiny, that's the way he liked things to look. After all, it was the most important door, front door in Ireland. Meanwhile, the president stopped off at Farmley House for some tea and scones. There he is having his tea and scones. One of the dogs is having a drink of water and the other one's playing with the bees. Back at the hours, Mrs Mullins, the housekeeper, dusted the picture frames. There were lots of famous people on the walls. Maybe her portrait would be up there too someday. In the kitchen, the two chefs prepared some delicious treats, including a very special birthday cake. Yes, it seemed like everything was going to plan. Bellissimo, says one of the chefs. At the Wellington Monument, the president found the perfect spot to practice his yoga and everyone joined in. Can you see who has joined in with his yoga? Suddenly, the president's wife noticed the time. Ding dong, as the clock struck five. Surely the president should be home by now. Where could he have got to, she wondered. At the front gates, the guests began to arrive. The president's pigeon counted the line of fancy cars as they entered the Aorus. Click, click, click went the photographers. There were presidents from other countries too. Inside, the guests waited for the president. They waited and waited and waited. But the president was nowhere to be seen. Where could he have got to? Oh dear, said the president's wife. Could the president have forgotten his own birthday party? Everyone looked so disappointed. When suddenly... Surprise! Out of the birthday cake jumped the president himself. And what a surprise it was too. There was no need to worry after all. The president would never have forgotten his own birthday. <laughs> the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed the president's surprise. I did. See you next time. Bye-bye.